This video is just basically me ranting about life, bro. How humans ruin life and how we're really living somebody's idea, bro. Because we were born into this shit, bro. You wasn't born and said, yeah, I want to go to a job and I want to make money and I want to trade my money for this. Like, no, this is a system that somebody else created, bro. And I think it's time for it to change, bro. I'm way to this slave job, bro. I don't want to be here. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, the Real Booty Bandit, back for another video. And for today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, how you know this was how this was how the previous generations was able to deal with with a nine to five. And I'm going to talk about why people in my generation. They can't deal with a nine to five as much as the old, the, the people of the past, right? So check this. So number one, uh, having kids, even though I don't agree with that, having kids is what kept a lot of people to have that drive to work a nine to five because they had a family to take care of. They had kids to take care of. And I would be the same way. If I had kids that depended on me, you know, I would make sure that I could get up and go to work every day because I want to make sure my son and daughter is fed and clothed. So that was how our parents, th that gave our parents to drive to wake up every morning and, and deal with the monotony, deal with the toxic co-workers and managers um, because they they look forward to taking care of their kids. They like they like giving their kids toys for Christmas and they wanted to see that smile on your face. So kids was one of the driving factors of how people kept doing this shit every day. Right? Um, because one of the things about humans, no, okay, I, I, I'll get into that later. Number two, um, religion. I don't believe in this either, but that was also something that allowed humans to keep going to work because that gave them purpose. Like, oh, okay, you know, I am, I'm not from, you know, I'm of the world, but I don't, but I'm not, no, I'm from the world, but I'm not of the world, some shit like that. It gave them purpose. Oh no, this is just my temporary home. I'm going to transcend this, you know, it had humans believing that they were going to transcend this earthly existence. So they really didn't care about this worldly shit because they thought they were going to transcend it. It gave them a purpose, a, a sense of fulfillment, a sense of belonging. They felt like they were God's chosen. And people say, oh, 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 I'm God's child. It gave them purpose. Number two, number three. Um, yeah. Well, I, well, okay, I guess having a relationship, that kind of ties into kids. But yeah, just having a, a significant other. You know, men having uh, a wife, you know, to come home to, that also drives men to keep being productive, right? So I already said the kids, and now it's the wife. That drives men to be productive. <laughs> Oh, you know, I I got a lady at home. I can't let her down. I got to keep grinding for my family. That makes men be more productive. A lot of people nowadays, uh, they don't have, especially, especially for males, there is a loneliness epidemic. Oh, fuck. Fuck off me, bitch. Ah, uh, shit. Hate these damn prickly things. Got on my fucking sh 
Shit. Yeah. Fuck. That's it. And this shit's prickly as fuck. You touching it. Damn. I remember these things as kids. They get on your damn sweater and they sticky and poke prickly. But yeah, you know, there's a loneliness epidemic out here. A lot of people are not in relationships. A lot of people are single. And I'm not trying to encourage. I'm not just, I'm not fucking, oh, everybody needs to be in love and all that shit. I'm not even promoting that because you don't need to be in no fucking relationship. I'm, I'm not promoting relationships, nothing like that. But I'm just saying, that, that, was one of the driving factors of people going to work. The fact that they had a partner at home that depended on them and they had a they had a wife at home. You know, especially back in our grandparents day where the woman was a stay-at-home mom. Yeah, that that made men work. I have a woman at home. What's number f- on number 5? Uh Jobs actually got people jobs back in the day. They actually, you know, uh, yeah, they actually, uh, was, what's the word I'm looking for? They, they actually got you somewhere. They actually got you the nice house, the car, got you the the things that you wanted and needed because to me having a good job having you know yeah because one thing about this neighborhood that I like is it's always you know it's not that many people out here most of the time that's what I like about this neighborhood nobody really be outside so I, I can make videos without worry about people listening to my shit. But yeah, a good job to me is if I make enough to pay my necessities and I have enough to save and I have enough to have a little fun with it. That's a job that pays good. If I can pay for my necessities, food, water, shelter, save some of that shit and have a little pl- have a little play money. That's a good job. Whereas most jobs these days, you're just living just to pay your bills. And and it doesn't give people that drive to keep going because you're not seeing no growth. You're not seeing no seeing no elevation. Most of us, you know, I'm in my mid twenties now. Most of us are not in a financial uh in the best financial situation. A lot of us still live with our parents or we have roommates Yeah, or we have roommates. We don't have our own car, you know, and we don't have that much saved up. Whereas if this was 19, I don't know, 50 or whatever. Well, I don't know because I'm black, right? I don't know, <laughs> but, you know, maybe they paid the, paid the Negroes less. But back in the day, right, you'll be able to, you know, you know, the more you work, the more progress you, you'll see. You'll see, oh, okay, the more hours I work, I'm able to afford the house. The more hours I work, I'm able to give me a car. The more hours I work, I'm able to save and invest. That will make people work more because they're seeing their money actually do something. They're seeing their money stretch. A lot of people these days, they're not seeing their money stretch. Right? They're not seeing their money stretch. So that's a problem. That's one of the biggest driving factors for me personally. Am I stretching my money? Every time I clock into that job, am I getting 
you know, is my money getting bigger and bigger and bigger? I don't want to see no more three digits. I need to see commas. Am I getting more commas? Or am I just barely maintaining? Most jobs, you're barely maintaining. <laughs> and just like Vision World said, if you have a job, you're going to struggle. And if you don't have a job, you're going to struggle. It's just if you have a job, you're going to struggle ju just a little bit less. You're going to struggle a little bit less, but you're still going to struggle working most of these jobs. Now, I'm not saying there's not any job that don't pay a lot, but they're not as accessible. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're not as accessible that, you know, out there like that. You know, they're, they're not as plentiful. Nowadays, you have to. <coughs> <coughs> Damn, you have to get a skill or get a job that's in demand, right? <clears throat> Damn, my throat, it, fucking allergies, bro. <coughs> Damn. Sorry, my, my allergies acting up, man. <coughs> yeah, you have to get a job that you have to get a what the fuck this motherfucker parking right there for. You have to get a job that's in demand. You have to what the fuck the motherfucker that's parking right there for? At the fucking stop sign. But yeah, you have to get a job that's in demand. Where, where the the job fucking gnats in my face, man. Where the job market is is good. Where, where the job market is good, like. <clears throat> Some some degrees that you go to school for, those jobs are not in demand. So you go so it's essentially a worthless degree. You have to get a job where it's in demand. Like employers are looking for these motherfuckers. Like, yo, we are running low on, on these people. We need your money. They're gonna hire your ass fast. Because they low because they, because they need that shit. And if it's in demand, you're gonna get paid more because it's something that people need. It's it's, there's a shortage of it. It's not oversaturated. So you're gonna get so you're gonna get a nice paycheck. Right? You know, doing a job where it's oversaturated, you're not really gonna get as much bang for your buck like that. You know, yeah. If it's like, <clears throat> you know, if if it's not in demand, and if you could easily be replaced, you know, you're really not going to get nowhere with that. And that's the case for most jobs. It's just a number. Employers don't really value you for. Now, I'm not saying that they got to be your best friend and shit like that. Obviously, it's a damn business. I'm not looking for my fucking boss to be my fucking best friend, right? I came here to get a check, but employers not at least ha somewhat caring about their employees. That you know, that's another reason for why people hate hate the job market. Is <laughs> damn motherfucker, you just view me as just a fucking number. You you just view me as just a profit. You just view me as just a motherfucking profit. This is a nice fucking view right here. I just take a picture of this part. Wow, this looks nice right here. Wow. This little park, a lot of fucking gnats over there, though. I see the swirl of gnats, but besides that, it looks nice. Yeah, but yeah, you just view me as a profit. You just view me as, you know. And like I said, it's a business. Obviously, of course, you're looking, okay, I need you to help me make money. Uh, it's a business. It's not a fucking friendship. I understand that. I'm not looking for my fucking <laughs> job to be my fucking best friend, right? I understand that. But, uh, yeah. A lot of these employers, you know, you do one thing wrong, you're out of there. You know? So that's another reason. So it, it, it's... That's a fucking dog off the fucking leash, dog. Uh, damn. Damn. <clears throat> Stupid.
Put that dog off the damn leash. Damn. <laughs> shit dog scared the shit out of me. It was running. It was jogging towards me. I'm like, oh shit. Better not still be following me, man. That's the thing about a dog, bro. It's like a dog like that. I don't know what kind of dog that is, but shit. <clears throat> shit. I could probably beat it in a fight, but I'm definitely going to have some fucking... <laughs> I'm definitely not coming out that shit uninjured. For, for sure. I, I can beat it in a fight, but definitely going to have a fucking... Fucking couple bite marks on my fucking ass for sure. Shit. I don't know if they, I don't know if the dog's aggressive or not, but shit. Yeah, man. Definitely gonna have some fucking bite marks if I if I fight that damn dog. Shit. Turn my ass around, man. But yeah, man, it's just a lot of people nowadays don't have any incentive to work a job. You know, a lot of people are single, so they they don't have the family. If you're awoken, you're a mo you're an anti natalist, or you don't care about kids, you don't but have no purpose in religion. So a lot of people just like, you're not getting paid much. So a lot of people just like, man, fuck this shit. I'm not doing this stupid shit. What's the reason for me to do it? <clears throat> so. That's why a lot of people can't work these nine to fives no more because they don't have any incentive to do it. You're just there just to barely maintain. And thing about quitting, quitting a job or getting fired from a job is you may feel a temporary set. Of, you may feel a temporary period of relief. Like, oh, oh, I quit or oh, I got fired. Oh. You may feel that relief temporarily, but then that fucking, that fucking, uh, that, that, that anxiousness is going to come back because once that money starts to run low, you got to get another job. So that, that relief is only a temporary relief before you have to tap back in into the matrix. So it's like, <laughs> you know, but yeah, man, this is why some people, especially nowadays, just don't care about a job. It's just a couple reasons, you know? And yes, a job, even back in the day, took a lot of your time, but at least you were, you had some things to look forward to. These jobs are all the things I, I listed. Another big ass fucking dog right here. Another one. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus Christ. Another motherfucking dog, man. But yeah, and one thing, one thing about humans is our, us humans, we, you know, our, our, our mental health plays a big factor in shit. If, if your mental isn't taken care of, then your body's going to follow suit. At least people that back in the day at these nine to fives. They had an incentive to keep going. The family, the wife, the fact that their money was stretching, their religion. You know, all of these things played a factor in them keeping going. They they had that mental that mental support. They, they also religion that was a community in a way. They had community. Their, their, their church was their community. The Sunday dinner and that was their community. A lot of people these days that we don't have community. We have a discord. Yeah, that's community, but it's different from a in-person community. That's just an online community. So people don't have that emotional support. You know, a lot of people are single, so they don't have an and a lot of people these days, uh, th there's a lot of family drama. So they, a lot of some people don't even have their family. 
to give them that support. So it, it's really kind of hard to to uh, to have that drive to keep pushing when you don't have no support or any incentive to keep on going. You don't have no girlfriend, no no husband, no kids. Don't have no purpose in religion. Um, your money ain't getting you nowhere. You don't have no community. It's like what the? Why am I doing? Your money ain't ain't getting you nowhere. That you're getting paid. It's like what's the people are like? What the? What's the point of doing this shit? And they just tapping out. And I totally understand. You know, I totally get why people are tapping out from this shit. And shout out to the people at that port who are saying, hey, nigga, unless we getting paid some money, we ain't going to ship these goods off. I support that shit. Even if it does damage how we get products today, it will be just like the pandemic where people start buying the loud ass fucking. You know, if it lasts too long. It'll be like the pandemic where people start buying up everything because, oh, shit, there's not going to be uh, any more shit that's in stock because they're not shipping the goods over here. You know what I'm saying? It's like if that happens, it is what it is. In the day, you have the power. You know, they're the ones that ship the shit off. So they have the power. They, they, they have the leverage. I already know that they're going to get their demands met. Because everybody needs food. They're going to they gonna give them that pay. And that's how, and that's what we all need to do. Motherfucker, you ain't paying me. I'm not doing the work. I ain't getting no pay. or well, No work's getting done. Shit. I support that shit. The ports and shit going on strike. Ain't working until they get their money bumped up. I support it. I'm all for it. You feel me? So... That's why a lot of people these days can't work a nine to five. And I and I don't blame them. <clears throat> I don't blame them. And, you know, and, but even back then, you know, you know, nine to five took a lot of your time, but at least they had incentives. OK, yeah, it's taking a lot of my time, but OK, at least I'm getting something out of it. <clears throat> you know, most jobs these days, you ain't getting nothing out of it. You know what I'm saying? Then some jobs got bad benefits. Some jobs don't even have any benefits. Like, like my last job. Uh, <clears throat> uh, well, no, 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 no. They had just, no, no. Yeah, they, they didn't even have benefits. So some jobs don't even have benefits. Dental, vision, uh, whatever. 401k. Some jobs don't even have that. So it's just, it's just a waste of time, you know? It's crazy. And some job you have some jobs they'll pay for your school to go to school. Some jobs have good benefits, man. Some jobs, but then you got other jobs don't have. It's just what's the point of me working here? I'm not getting nothing out of this, you know. <clears throat> so those are some things I want to say about a job and why a lot of people can't do this nine to five shit, and I can't blame them. And another thing about the human body is we're all like those are just extra things about a nine to five. And that's just on top of the fact that it takes a lot of your time. Uh, somebody else controls your time. A person that you don't know can dictate when you have to wake up and what you can do within a certain, you know, uh, allotted time period. And the thing is, like I said, See certain human be see everybody gets dopamine or they get pleasure by doing certain things. Some people get pleasure <clears throat> by stocking a shelf at Walmart. And if they do, that's good. But everybody don't like the same shit. I get pleasure by making videos, making music. I get dopamine by making music, making a video. It gives me dopamine. I don't get dopamine by <coughs> working at a nine to five. I don't get any pleasure from that. Right. Everybody's not. We're not built the same. Some people get pleasure from that. Some people don't. So quit holding everybody to the same standard. Shit, I'm working.
on a way to get a job that pays me decent to where I could escape the nine to five. Because even if I get a job that pays good and it's a decent job, I still don't want to be in a nine to five. I still want to have my own business, work for myself and set my own schedule and et cetera. So I'm still I'm still trying to escape the nine to five. But I'm not bashing people that work nine to five. That's what if you like nine to five, that's fine. Just for me, it's not for me. But I got to do what I got to do until I get to that level. So I'm still grinding until I get to that level where I want to be at. But yeah, man. So I got Sam out. All this slave shit, bro. Slave. Slave.